Okay, um, it is Monday, it is review day, and this is the review, and I'm going to do some of it with you. I'm not going to do it all, I'm just going to try and help you get this set up. So here it is, 11, 9. Now, if you are my second period class, you're going to take the test on Tuesday. So it's, I'm sorry, fourth period. Fourth period, I'll take the test on Tuesday. And if you're my first period class, you're going to take the test on Thursday. Okay? Let's just get ready for it. Fourth takes a Tuesday. First takes a, And they are different tests. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Number one. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go one over because of the negative exponent. I'm going to do it to the fourth root because of the fourth power of 16. And you guys should be able to figure that out. Two times two times two times two. Okay? Number two, I'm going to multiply and get the cube root of 64. And I think that is a perfect cube root. Check it out. Number three, so you got to finish these. you got to finish those. I'm not done. Okay? You're not done. Number three, I'm going to break it up. Cube root of 27, which I think is a perfect cube root. I'm going to make this a number that's divisible by three. So I've got to divide by three. So I'm going to make it the cube root of m cubed times the cube root of m squared times the cube root of m to the sixth, because I can take a third of that, times the cube root of m to the eighth. And I'll take the cube root of that, I'll take the cube root of that, take it one th I'll take one third of the, of the exponent, take cube root of that, okay? And I'll let you guys finish this up, okay? Your job. Number four, the fourth root of 16 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, over the cube root of x. Now, the only problem with this is you can't have a root in the bottom. So I'm going to make it a perfect cube. To make it a perfect cube, I'm going to multiply it by the cube root of x squared, because that'll make an x to the cube on the denominator, and I'll multiply the numerator by the same rule of 1, and I'll let you simplify it from there. Okay? Number five... I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, which is the opposite of that. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom, numerator, denominator by 5 minus the square root of 2, 5 minus the square root of 2, and I will multiply it out, and my square root will cancel. Number 6, I cannot add them unless they're the same, but I believe 48 is 16 times 3. When you reduce that, you should be able to subtract them. Okay? 7. Divide by 3, divide by 3, I get x to the 4th equals 16. And if I take the 4th root of this, I'll get it. Okay, I'll let you guys finish that. Number 8, I will cube root it first, and then we can add 2. Okay, I'm going to let you do this. Number 9, you're going to square both sides, but you've got to be a little bit careful on this. You're going to square both sides to get rid of the square root. Got to be a little careful. Let me highlight the number that you got to be careful on, okay? This 2 right here is not inside the square root. So I have to square that. So if I square both sides, cancels, and I'm left with a 2x plus 2 equals. But I'm going to square the 4 because it's outside. So I'm going to get 4. The square cancels the square root, and I get x minus 1. And then you can solve for x, okay? Number 10, same thing. I need to be careful, but I'm going to square both sides. Square both sides. This one's going to take some work. I'm going to get a 16 because I square the 4. The square cancels the square root, x plus 1. And this is going to be an x plus 1, x plus 1. Okay. Foil it out. Okay, foil it out, multiply it out, you will eventually factor, okay? All right, 11. So I'm going to add f plus g, okay? So if I add these, I'm just going to add them, and I'm going to get a positive 1, x to the 2 thirds, okay? Then I'm going to plug negative 27 in for x and get an answer. If I subtract them, I'm going to get minus a minus, and I'll get a 5x to the 2 thirds, and then I'll plug in negative 27, okay? Number 8, when I multiply them, I have to add exponents. So let's multiply up above. I'll have to multiply up here, okay? 
have a 3x to the 2 thirds times a negative 2x to the 2 thirds. When I multiply, I'll get a negative 6. Whole number, whole number. X, I have to add exponents to the 4 thirds. Okay, and then plug in negative 8. Okay, same thing with divide. If I'm going to divide them, okay, I'll do that over here. I'm going to have a 3x to the 2 thirds divided by a negative 2x to the 2 thirds. Uh, that's pretty easy. Those cancel each other out. And I think you're just left with 3 over negative 2. And then you can't plug in negative 8, so you're done. Okay, 12. So here's my parent function, and it's been moved. Here's my parent function, it's been moved. In fact, it's been moved back to, so g of x should equal, I went back to x plus 2, and I went down 1. There you go. 13, if I want the inverse, I switch the variables, okay? So let's go d equals 240. D, uh, S, <laughs> S to the 1 half power. Okay, and then if you have to solve for S, I'm going to square both sides. And I'll have D squared equals 240S. I'll divide by 240 and I'll get S is equal to D squared over 240. Okay, now to do B, I'm just going to plug it into the main equation. Okay, average depth is so now speed of 280. Speed, speed is S, so I'm going to put um, 280 right there and solve. And then the average depth, and then finally the depth, if the depth is 200, put the 200 there and solve. That's all you got to do, okay? So here's the review. Um, I want you to do it and send it to me via Canvas, and that's all I have. And then we'll take the test either on Tuesday for fourth period or you'll take the test Thursday for fourth period, okay? I'm sorry, for first period. First period is going to take a Thursday. My bad.